It's a tool that may increase your cow herd's efficiency. Artificial insemination is a growing practice on ranches across the country. We had a chance to talk with Dr. John Hall from Virginia Tech for his tips on beginning an AI program with your herd. Well, getting started in AI, I don't, I don't think is all that hard. Probably a couple of the barriers. The first thing is this: people just don't understand what the whole process is, and and they just need to either visit with uh, someone that's already doing AI or work with their extension folks to understand what's involved in the process. Uh, you don't need to be a large herd, uh, you don't, and small herds, uh, AI works just fine in it as well. Some of the benefits to the producers for engaging in an AI program. Uh, the first one is probably uh, actually a result of the estrus synchronization program where we have more calves born early in the calving season so that results in a more uniform calf crop and in addition a calf crop that's older and heavier at weaning time. Another advantage uh, again is is being able to not only access the genetics that are high quality expensive type genetics elite type genetics but also to use bulls that are very highly accurate in the EPDs or in the genetic evaluations that have been done to these bulls as opposed to in a natural service situation where even though you're spending a lot of money for a bull and you're buying a high quality bull you really don't have an idea of what the track record of that bull might be and in AI you have that track record already there and established. I think some of the resistance to AI involves again not understanding what the process is but also fear that they either have to have a complicated set of facilities or a lot of expensive equipment to get it done and and that's really not the case. Folks that have uh, normal, good working facilities that facilitate uh, a good herd health vaccination program and doing some pregnancy diagnosis certainly have facilities that are adequate. Uh, one of the nice things about estrus synchronization and, and timed AI is that even though we have to work those cattle through the chute three or maybe four times, um, there's not, other than the initial gathering and working cattle in, in mass and at, all at once, uh, we don't have to have uh, a lot of gatherings and so the labor is concentrated into a small portion of time rather than a large portion of time. Either some uh, extra family help or, or some part-time help during the AI season uh, easily gets the job done. What about comparing the cost of buying a bull versus AI? One of the things that we talk about a lot is, is the cost because obviously there is a cost involved. But when we evaluate the, the costs of an AI pregnancy versus a natural service pregnancy, where we've spent a reasonable amount for a, for a bull, the costs are very similar. If you want to start AI, you don't necessarily have to go to an AI school and learn to do AI yourself. And so I always advise people to get up with an experienced technician and have them start your AI program for you. As you learn the benefits of AI and you become more interested in it, then you can take the plunge and go to the AI course and learn how to do AI yourself and invest in the semen tank and the AI kit and, and all the other equipment that isn't that terribly expensive, but you don't even need to own that equipment if you have somebody come and, and doing AI for you as a service.